I'm Jerry Long, and we're the owners of Cufflink Art. Part of what puts people off coming into galleries is the kind of austere feel that you get sometimes walking into a big white cube that feels very sterile and whatnot. We wanted to have a, a space that was more welcoming and more kind of an extension of our home. Another way that we're kind of trying to dispel that whole, you know, very stuffy vibe is to kind of be a little bit more open and uh, uh, welcoming in, in a lot of different ways. We love the energy here. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I agree. I think the location's great because we can open the windows and it's a little bit cooler. Having a, a very kind of casual atmosphere, that's another reason that we got the books in here too, is that um, it gives people another reason to come in. They can come and look at the art. They may not be able to or not feel that they can afford a piece of art, but they can afford a book or to come look. And we want to be as welcoming as possible in that way. Yeah, I, I think that um, we started definitely with collecting first. So uh, Linda is a Fort Worth based artist. We had earmarked it very early <laughs> on to say that, you know, we want to put this in the first show. It was very, very uh, interesting and really caught our attention. But if, if for some reason it didn't sell in that first show, it was definitely going home with us. I don't think we even waited until right. the show was over. We put a red dot on it and said, we have to have that one. That, that's, that's one of ours. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, attending them yeah. is is awesome. We've attended a few since since we're self funded and we're kind of a startup in a, in a sense. We're trying to be very mindful of where and how we spend our money and how we spend that money. We really want to use that to further our artists and make sure that we get the biggest bang for the buck, so they get the most attention. Do I think NFTs are the wave of the future? Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I, I think of it in a very similar vein to the way the art world used to see photography. It took a long time for photography to be considered a fine art form. I think it'll take a while for NFTs to be considered a fine art form, but I think eventually people will take it seriously, but no more so than an, an oil painting or a, a lithograph or anything like that. Another thing that's going to be interesting to see as it unfolds is like, is is the work, NFT work, going to be what brings up the value or the person who bought it right. is going to help drive the value? From an artist's perspective, I would say be tenacious, right? Know what you want. Try to find a gallery that aligns with not only your style, but what you want to do as an artist, how you want to be represented as an artist. You know, if starting that relationship, introducing ourselves to each other, you know, and, and looking to be represented tomorrow may not happen. You know, if you can get in front of the, the gallerists or the owners and whatnot and talk to them about the art that they already represent and think about how your art would fit in there and try to gauge their level of passion too, because you really want someone to to just be so passionate about your art and selling your art that they're gonna make the people that they're selling to passionate as well. Mm -hmm.